Ken here with you again today. This is AC Practical 15.1 Three Phase Unbalanced Star Connections. So, as always, don't forget to do your uh, hazard identification, nominate your supervision level, risk class being high, low, or medium, and then what control measures can you put in place to minimize the risks that you've identified. Here's our circuit today. We're going to uh, have a three phase star connected and we're also going to connect the neutral. So I'll just put on my pen. So you'll take special note this time we've got a neutral. We're also going to measure the current in the neutral as well as the current in A phase with clip on ammeters. We're just going to measure one voltage across the line so this is going to be our line voltage and we're going to measure voltage across the phase the phase voltage we're using our 40 watt 32 volt lamps and you can see here we've added a fourth lamp with a switch on it so with the switch open then we've got a nice balanced load as soon as we close the switch the load on a face a phase, I should say, will go up by two, so we'll get double the load here, and we should see the current increase accordingly. So let's get into our prac and have a look at what's going on. So here's our de energized version of our setup, and we've got our three phase supply. You'll take particular note that we have got the neutral connected this time. A phase, the red wire, if you trace it down, goes through the right hand ammeter. So here we'll be measuring A phase current. And here on this one, if you've noticed the black wire coming from the neutral down onto our star point, you can see our star point connecting all the way through here to our lamps so this one of course is measuring the neutral current so that's our setup our lamps A phase B phase and C phase a voltmeter measuring the phase voltage so that's the volts phase and a voltmeter over here measuring the volts line. This is our extra load. We're switching in here. Here's our lamp. And we have a switch box that allows us to switch that lamp in and out as we please. So that gives you an idea of how the whole thing is connected up. So let's power up. And here we are, powered up. And I want you to take particular note of the voltage first, our line voltage is at uh, 44.1 volts and our phase voltage is 25 and we'll assume it's 25 across each of the lamps and at this point we don't have our extra load so at the moment our current in our neutral is 0 amps and our current in A phase is pretty close to 1 amp. So we've got very close to 1 amp here and 0 amps in our neutral and 25 volts across or well, pretty close to 26, 25.8 volts across each of our lamps. So the next step is to actually introduce the load and switch on our extra light and have a look at what happens to those values. Our line voltage hasn't changed. Our line voltage, I'm sorry, our phase voltage hasn't changed. But we have got extra load and you'll notice that we've now got two amps. On the A phase, so A phase is at 
two amps. You'll also note that we have an imbalance current. So we now have current in the neutral and we have one amp in the neutral. If I was to clip on my ammeter around B phase or C phase, I would also only have one amp because we haven't done anything to increase the loads there. So this is a lamp for A and a lamp for A, meaning we've got two amps of current, but for B phase lamp and for C phase lamp, we would still have one amp flowing in each of those. So because it's unbalanced, that extra one amp has to go somewhere and that extra one amp goes down the neutral back to the supply for the out of balance. So that's why we use a four wire system. If the load is unbalanced, the current must have a return path back to the supply and that can only come through the star point or the neutral. The next big question is, what if we disconnect the neutral? What might happen? So let's look at that next. So I've now disconnected the neutral and I'll just get my pointer up and running. You'll notice, there it is, look, I've disconnected the neutral. I've left the lamps un extra lamp in, so A phase is unbalanced. So lamp for A phase, we've got two of them, B and C, and look what's happened to our phase voltage across our lamps. And you can see it in the brightness of the lamps. They're nowhere near as bright because the voltage, because we've lost the neutral, has dropped to 16 volts. So a drop in the voltage because the neutral has nowhere to return it's out of balance current. So this is a typical thing that happens if you lose your neutral. The heaviest loaded part of the circuit, the voltage drops the most. Now let's look more closely at um, B and C. And B and C lamps have got much brighter, much brighter. I don't know whether you noticed the intensity, but they got much brighter. If I was to put a voltmeter across here right now, it would read something in the order of about 37 volts, 37. So I'd have about 37 volts across B and 37 across C and my 16 across the load. So whenever you lose a neutral, you will find that one phase goes high and one, sorry, two phases will often go high, sorry, and one phase will go low. So we go on 16 over here and we should have been at 25, shouldn't we? That was the nominal voltage, 25. So this one here has gone low, and these two here have gone high. That's a clear indicator that we have lost our neutral in the system. And this is what we mean by brownouts. Drops to 16 volts, so it browns out. So that's what creates a brownout. And also, this over-voltage can occur. If appliances are only rated for 230 or 240 volts and you put 300 on them, then you get damaged appliances. So there you have it. If you lose the neutral, one phase is going to go low voltage. The other two are typically going to go high. And the one that goes low is the most heavily loaded phase. So there you go. That's the end of... Uh, Three-phase practical, unbalanced loads, 15.1.